From WFRV-TV Local 5, your local election headquarters, this is Newsmaker Sunday with your host, Tom Zelaski. Good morning. Welcome to Newsmaker Sunday. I'm Tom Zelaski. Today, we discuss the growing trend of food co-ops in Wisconsin. There are about a dozen such operations that work as a grocery store, but they are locally owned with members investing money into the co-op. They're designed to promote local food sources, helping area farmers and serving areas considered to be food deserts in communities all across the state. Now, in Oshkosh, an effort is underway to open up a food Food Co-op. Joining us today, Liz Redmond. She's the project manager with the Oshkosh Food Co-op. Liz, thanks so much for joining us. Good morning. morning. Thank you. Much appreciate. What's a food co-op for those who don't know? Yes, well, you did a great job introducing uh, what a food co-op is in general. So a food co-op is essentially a member-owned grocery store. So a full-service grocery store where you can buy most of the things you're looking for, um, but the ownership is, is by the members. So not just anybody can walk into this food co-op. Well, it depends on the model, but for the food co-op that we're starting in Oshkosh, anyone is welcome in the store. And I believe that most co-ops around the nation, everyone is welcome to shop there. Okay, who else has one? Um, Stevens Point. Across the state. Madison has a couple of Willie Street locations. Uh, Milwaukee, so we're, we're going to be the first one in Northeast Wisconsin, so we're pretty proud of that. Have you learned anything from these other operations? Have you visited? Have you taken information from them, or are you, you kind of going on your own? Yeah, so I have had some personal experience with some co-ops in other cities I've lived in, which is how I got introduced to the model. But one of the beautiful things about co-ops is we all help each other, co-ops helping co-ops. So we can get, you know, business plan information, or any sort of information from other co-ops around the country. And another co-op, uh, speaking of Wisconsin co-ops, that actually is our mentor co-op is in Menominee, Menominee Market. Um, so okay. they've been a, a big help to us as well. But it's really a, a wonderful movement where um, we all want to see each other succeed, so we're all in it together. So you're yeah. trying to get one off the ground here in Oshkosh. You've uh, selected a location for the food co-op. Uh, where's the location and why the location? Sure. So we first built our membership up to 750 members in Oshkosh. Already? And that, yes, that uh, was a great benchmark that helped us begin the site location. Yes, there it is. Uh, so that is a new building uh, on the corner of Jackson and Pearl in central Oshkosh. Mm -hmm. So uh, there's three buildings that are going to be built in that area. And we're on, uh, like I said, the corner of Jackson and Pearl. We're on the first level there. And our site selection committee uh, did a lot of work in looking for our location. So some things that are really important is, of course, parking. So you want, you want to make sure that you have enough parking spots and that people can get in and out of your store easily with their groceries. Yeah. Visibility, you know, we're on a main, a main thoroughfare through Oshkosh, so people will be able to see our store and drive by and, and stop on in. Um, price, of course, is important. So working with the developer and making sure that we're getting a price that works with our pro forma. Uh, but we're really excited about our location and we hope that we can be successful in our capital campaign to break ground this spring. Now, why there, beside the, the yes. information you just gave as far as parking and location and what have you, I mean, are there people in that area who particularly need a, fo a food co-op? Absolutely, yeah. yes. So uh, that area of Oshkosh is deemed a food desert. It is. So a food desert is an area where people, don't ha people aren't able to walk to a grocery store in their neighborhood. So um, we have a couple of pockets right in um, Oshkosh, and, and that location is smack in the middle of the food desert. So that's been part of our mission from the beginning of this project, to make sure that people feel welcome in our store, things are priced uh, appropriately, that um, people can find what they need and find some fresh options in, in the middle of the food desert there. That is a big problem, food deserts, because uh, we, we've all seen this. We've all seen someone walking home from a local store, sure. and they've got two or three plastic bags, and you know they came from a, a small store and they paid dearly for that stuff sure. as opposed to those people who can go out to you know, a festival foods or, or, or an Aldi's. Right. These and then and the produce options as well. That's what we're really excited about. You know, if you go in some of those smaller convenience stores, the produce you find is, like you mentioned, expensive, but also not great quality. So food deserts is a, a complicated issue. It's really important to us. Um, but making sure that people have access to that. We're right on a bus route in Oshkosh as well. Um, but when they come in the store as well, making sure they feel welcome and they feel comfortable and, and we're excited to do some educational uh, programming as well to make sure people 
know how to cook that healthy food too. So have so you talked to people in the area? Uh, you know, do they know this is coming? What, Absolutely. What are they hearing? So nationally, it takes five to seven years to get a food co-op off the ground. Really. And the reason for that is it's all community driven. It's all volunteer. So we've been building this project. Uh, we're in our sixth year, I believe. Um, so the buzz is happening. Uh, we got a lot of great press and uh, reach on our Facebook page when we announced our location. But people are really excited about it, and people are really proud that it's coming to Oshkosh as, as the first in Northeast Wisconsin. So somebody came up with this idea six years ago. Yes, yes. Who right in our community, there was a, actually a student from University of Oshkosh who thought, why don't we have a food co-op in Oshkosh? And she sort of started the initiative, and then it's been um, a board of directors and a great group of volunteers who continued the project along to now 1,129 members as of today. Why six years? Well, none of us, uh, the previous volunteers have been, have been paid for this. So volunteering and, you know, driving a program without uh, employees can be difficult, right? Sure. But sure. also it's important to build that membership so you have a great customer base to start and that your community is ready. So people have said, why can't you just open up a tiny sh shop on the corner? Um, but working with other co-ops and learning from them, we know that that doesn't work. So making sure you can build up the volunteers, build up the customer base so that your store is a success. But it's within sight. It's in sight, anyway. yes, yeah. for sure. All right, we continue with our conversation right after this, so please stay with us.